Whew, it's been a little while, about a week or two, hard to remember, but we're back with some King's Quest, and this is going to be fun. We finished Chapter 2, and now we're on to Chapter 3. Let's get back into it. <sighs> Last time I began we... my knighthood oh. in Daventry with nothing to my name except a feather in my cap, a cape for my back, and an appetite for adventures. I didn't mean to interrupt Questing him. Questing <laughs> led me to recover King Edward's magic mirror, and he rewarded me with his throne. What's this? It's a rock. Okay. Mm, this is another rock. Excellent. We're off to a great start. And a third rock. I see. I inherited what? a flaw, a charming kingdom, and I worked tirelessly to restore the land to its former glory. Nifty. I like this. Can I do something? No. Eh. Ooh. Uh, that trellis looks better over there. Oh. I can move this? Wait, is there even anything over there? No, let's move it over to there, really? this tree. No, 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 no. Stop. Ah, fuck it. You know, whatever. In a few Ooh. short years, I had grown into the king I'd always wanted to be. What a beefcake. And while I was proud of the Daventry I had shaped, something still felt like it was missing. Dude, you got fucking rock-hard abs and muscles. Look at that. Ah, oh, Graham's not a nerd anymore. He's super tough. <gasps> Cedric! Cedric the Owl! <gasps> Badger! Oh, shit. Um... Wait! No! There is absolutely no way that could be right. Uh -uh. There's no way that could have happened. I was too invested in that owl. I must have missed a detail in the story. Well, uh, okay. Grab the shovel. Okay, sad little owl family. I'll go rescue Cedric. I'll save you, Cedric. No. I didn't what? abandon that owl family. I found a way to save his son. I... Okay, he ran this way? Okay, whatever. Uh, we're going back and forth in time. Cool. Okay, uh, so if I do this... No. Uh... I do... No. Or here. Hey, I'm flexible. Did maybe I'm supposed to go farther back in time? Okay, we will figure this out. Even if it takes me I don't uh, know. <clears throat> I, 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 I forgot one small detail. I began my life <laughs> in with nothing to my name except a feather in my cap, a cape on my back, an appetite for adventures, and a small shovel in my pocket. Of course. Okay, let's see. Buried in the soil was a tiny, spiniferous thorn seed. I see. So if I can do this... A tiny acorn had been planted in the dirt. I know what to do. Okay, plant the I acorn here. I planted that miniature acorn in the ground, a way to commemorate new beginnings. Or wait, no, I can only move the uh, the 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 little plant ladder thing so far. So okay, I will put. The acorn here, I think. Pretty sure, at least. And then the spiniferous thorn weed. Put you there. Boink. Okay, we're off to good starts. And yes, yes, perfect. And did I save Cedric? 
And... Tall tree. Fuck yeah! Oh no. D dude, what? Wait, wait! Something's still what? missing in this bird brain, Mason. I'll try again. What? But the thorn weed. Oh, shit. So. Uh, okay. Okie dokie. Maybe I'm just being dumb. Okay, okay, maybe if I can put it farther back. Dig you up. Come here. Got the seed. Looks kind of like those uh, little bramble ball things. I used to try to huck them at my brother. One time we tried to figure out what was inside, but we couldn't really crack it because, you know, we were stupid kids. So, never did figure out what was inside. Just like a Mexican jumping bean. I was told that it was like a worm that was put inside the beans. Maybe that's true. Like I don't know. a great spot for a spiniferous thornweed plant to thrive. Okay. Now we're in business. Let that grow. Let the spiniferous thornweed grow. And now nothing will get in its way. Right? Tree. Aw, oh, yeah! Fuck yeah, we did it. The family of Shruppy <laughs> Owls brought a smile to my face, but anguish to my heart. My kingdom was thriving, but I was alone. Who was I building this diamond tree for? They're so cute! Oh, they, they're, they're like perfect plushies. And then you, Mr. Naughty Little Badger, I'd smack your ass with the shovel if I could. But I will. The loneliness of the road that night was only offset by the company of my hungry, rumbling tummy. I headed back to the castle for a bite to eat. Sounds delicious. Hmm. Oh, that looks tasty. Actually, I'm just hungry. <laughs> Don't game on a empty stomach, especially not Monster Hunter. It will make you even hungrier. What good is all this food with no one to share it with? Oh, oh damn. Oh, how rude of me. Here you go. Sire, Graham's voice is amazing. Decree, seven, four, three, 11. I know, I know. No animals are allowed at the table. Did the bakers ever respond to my invitation for dinner? They declined said they couldn't find a sitter. Ah, you're right. Perhaps the guards would accept an invite for dinner. Ah, uh, Graham, we'd love to. We'd love to, but... Yeah, yeah, Kyle and Larry. The power. Afraid so, sire. As you were. Oh, before I forget, Larry, you know I restored the budget for your own personal steed, right? Oh, right. Uh, my own personal steed. Thank you. You guys got something else going on here, don't you? Well, I suppose I could use the surplus on masking the odor of number two. What? No, I mean royal guard number two. <laughs> he smells Oops. like syrup. It Wait, what? Really? He's gotten so bad my helmet fogs up. Syrup. You get used to it. You're absolutely I don't get right. It. We should create a dinner guest out of all this extra food. Why didn't I think of that? Uh, because that's like serial killer shit. Please don't do that. Don't make guests out of other food. Don't make people out of Such food. That's muscles. gross. Can't believe you had trouble finding a girlfriend. I worked on those muscles for myself, Gwendolyn. Thank you very much. Fuck yeah. Good job, Graham. Do you for Someone you. Someone had placed a second throne next to mine as a hint. I bet it was royal guard number two. He was growing old and anxious for Graham, kids. Uh... Really? You're using your own name in puns now? You're right. <laughs> that pun was chairless. I love the puns. <laughs> oh, good puns. Okay. Time to make a dinner guest. Oh, there's Bramble. There's Amaya. There's old Hobblepot. 
Old Ben Hobblepot. You're absolutely right. Mm. We should create yes, a dinner guest I out get of it. all the skip. Wait, I can oh wow, thank you. Well, would you care to join me for dinner? Dinner sounds lovely, but I'm only allowed to leave my post in times of distress. Jesus or Christ! If that plate of peas needs to be replenished, oh, oh, I think they went too strong on the lavender again. I can smell the spices from here. <sighs> Man, this is fucking lonely. Okay, fine. Plate of peas. Uh, how do I do something? Okay, take the peas. Take that. Uh, napkin. Uh. Well, these peas reek of lavender. What? Well, I I don't get the peas in the lavender thing. No, I'm pretty full. What? If you're full, why are we even doing this shit? Okay, do you want some meat? Sire, Daventry Decree, 743-11... I know, Fuck I know. Fuck off. No animals are allowed at the table. He's not at the table, you dick. Fine. Oh, wait, his feeding dish. Pile the peas. <laughs> yes, eat the peas. No, you don't like them. Uh, maybe if I add this. How's that look? Yep. Good job, Triumph. More peas, sir. <laughs> Apologies. I'm allergic to the lavender. I didn't even know you could put lavender on peas. Okay, shit. Uh, what do I need to do? What do I need? Uh, no, You're no, no, stop. Uh, oh, the rug. Yes. Ew, gross. Okay. Um, maybe. Um, God, I love that little flourish they do. Okay, uh, now's not the time for that. Fuck. That didn't fit there. No. You're not fooling. Me. Fuck. That's fine. Maybe I can leave. Nope, can't leave. Wait, can I grab this? Oh yeah. Okay. Maybe this goes here. That's a good start. What else can we add to her? Uh, You're right. She does need a cape. A little, cape. little creepy. What about a hat? What should we use for the face? Oh, this is getting a little creepy. Okay, well, I have the cape, I guess. This is getting to be some uncomfortable shit what about now. A hat? What? Yes, I fucking stop. What should we use? Stop. For the face? All right, I uh. Let's see, old man, single woman, married woman. Uh, well, I kind of like Bramble. She's nicer. Bramble's a nice lady. Winty's lucky to have her. Oh, perfect. What should we name her? Uh, uh, no, that's my sister's name. You know that. What? Wait, what? I'm thinking something that ends in a soft consonant. God, this it is weird. It was at that exact moment. When the magical mirror called out to me. So, in, the king, in his downtime, plays with his food and makes mirror, carpet me a dinner guests. Of a tower far away what the fuck, man? Kaliba. It told me that the princess I would marry was trapped at the very top, waiting for me to rescue her. Wasting ah. my time, I grabbed a beautiful ring from the royal treasury and headed off to save my future wife. Ah, oh, looks like my nurse um, are here. Can you excuse me for half an hour? You got it, Grandpa. Wait, can we go back to how you got dating advice from a mirror? Please? Oh, look at that dog. I think that's a dog. Okay, who is making these dolls that look exactly like their players? It's fucking Wonder. weird. It's your move. Oh. What? What's taking them so long? 
I'm honestly not sure. He's probably just distracting the nursemaids with his jokes. For four hours? Would that really surprise you? No. No. I guess not. Oh, damn, these kids are better at this game than I am. So, are you excited for Grandmother's birthday? Oh, am I? I haven't even picked out her present yet. Mother helped me pick out mine. I'm told it's the perfect gift. Yeah, well, you got help, so fuck off. Garth. Fucking All Garth. Right, children. Your grandpa is now ready for you. Uh, Gwendolyn? He asked to see you first. Oh, in your face. I'm the favorite Can child. Or Best she is, not whatever. To overwhelm him all at once. Besides, I need God's help with the daily decrees. Is it all right if we finish this after lunch? Go ahead. We don't want to keep him from his favorite. You are so going to go Game of Thrones on me, aren't you? You're going to you're going to get sick of being Your second banana. Doesn't have favorites, Scott. Oh he boy. Loves each of you in his own special way. Oh boy. Now tidy up and meet me in the throne room. I've got three trays of appetizers with your name on them. Oh, fuck yeah, appetizers. But yeah, seriously, he's going to pull out a Own dagger special way. and he's going to stab me. Eh, doesn't matter. Not with addendum 48677 in the books. Oh, fuck, here it comes. He's evil, I knew it, he has an evil devious plot. And he's a cheater, he's cheating. He's not playing fairly. <laughs> ah, you suck worse than I do. Oh, bother. Ah, fantastic. Uh, Graham, you okay there, buddy? Come on. There's got to be another one in there. Oh, Graham, honey. Just one more. One last quest. Another notch of my feather. A voyage to Neptune's kingdom, or a journey through the infinite desert. Please, Mira, one final adventure. Aw, oh, man, that's kind of sad. Graham, mm. your place is here, my friend. Grandpa? Oh, just the person I wanted to see. Oh, man. Are you doing all right? I am now. Did they find you the right medicine? Your company is better than any medicine in those rooms. Yeah. I feel no. bad. Come. Sit. Okay, then I guess we're this just gonna time, shrug that off. You picked the story. Something with a dragon, perhaps. Actually, could you tell me more about Grandma? Everyone knows she's a great queen, and she's nice and regal and wonderful. But none of that's helping me pick out her birthday present. I want to get her something really special. Of course. Hmm. I suppose there's no better place to start than at the beginning, when my travels led me to the Enchanted Isles. Hell yeah. Oh boy, that is a weird and wobbly improbable tower. I love me some improbable towers. Alright. Mom used to tell me this story before bed. Hasn't everyone in Davenger heard this? To climb that tower, rescued Princess Valenice fell in love, and lived happily ever after. Well, <laughs> fairy tales have a bad habit of simplifying matters of the heart. Ah. They weave tales that love just happens easily and with no effort required. A real story is far more exciting than what you've been led to believe. Here in my tower, I'm waking up Please tell me what to do. <laughs> ah, what a nice little illusion to, uh, I think that was King's Quest 6, I think. They played this at, like, the end credits when Alexander saves his beloved princess. Oh, wait, shit, these are wolves. I almost walked right into a wolf. Well, no, not almost. Almost, I did. Let's just get out of here. Oh, shit, sorry. Oh, I took a nice little nap. Ah, 
Here we are. Oh, there I am. Oh, the little bird's following me. How nice. Oh boy, here we go. A magical adventure of romance, intrigue. Um, I better knock on the door first. Hello? No? Nobody home? Oh. What? Uh. Okay. Hi. Whoa! Haha! -ha! Ooh, magical rocks. I've got you. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh boy. Now, is this magical tower gonna fuck with me or is it gonna help me? Ooh, no. Oh! Oh, it saves me! Holy shit, this is the best tower ever. Ha! Ha! Ho ho! Hee hee! Ha ha! A ya! Come! On! Up! Pretty! Little! Prince! Ah! Don't mind if I do! Do I have... Nope, can't get in through there. Oh! Awesome. Okay. Yep. Oh, shit. Oh my god, I would be terrified to do this in real life. Because all it takes is just one stone to not show up. Oh, boy. Here we go. Oh, shit, just like that, see? Oh. <laughs> okay, the rock was just fucking with me. Up. Oh. oh shit. Don't drop, don't drop me, don't drop me, don't drop me. Please, please don't drop me. Oh shit! I hadn't even met my love, and I was already falling for her. <sighs> okay. Ba. Ba. Uh. Come on. gonna drop on me no okay uh... oh shit true love never dies bizarre can it hurt <sighs> you're telling me okay okay so maybe up this way no it's okay true love can wait <laughs> okay da Da, da, da. What the fuck? So, okay, left, diagonal, da. Oh, Jesus. Magical puzzles, you dick. Uh, and this one? Ho oh, ho! Phew, okay. We did it! Climb up, Graham! Climb up and meet the true love of your life. Whew. Ha, ah, magical. Oh, hello. You must be Queen Valenice. Okay, what are you doing? Oh, shit. <laughs> Who is that? Huh? What, uh... That. What are you doing? Fate brought me to that tower to find my true love. But which one was she? I played with a magic mirror to show me a sign. Wait, I have the magic mirror with me? <gasps> oh. Hi, little bird. Hmm. Uh. Okay. <laughs> what? Wait. Uh. What? Um. Shit. Bird or squirrel? Oh dear. Such a 
deep decision. I think we're going to have to stop right here. And we will make our epic, life-changing decision of matrimony in the next video. See you later.